Hey everyone, today I'm taking you on an incredible journey from Puerto Varas in Chile to the stunning Bariloche in Argentina. So we are supposed to go to Bariloche right now from Puerto Varas and we took the Viatag bus and they told us to wait in the middle of the highway with our luggage, which like customer service was super bad, like we hope we're okay. We have been waiting around 20 minutes and the bus still hasn't arrived. It's almost about to rain and we are still waiting for the bus. And after 30 minutes of waiting, the bus finally arrived. And we opted for the VIP seating on the first floor, which came with wider and more comfortable seat. But little did I know that we'd make an unexpected stop in the charming town of Valdivia before venturing into the Nahuelhuapi Park and crossing the Andean Mountains. This stop lasted around 25 minutes before we waited for all of the passengers to go inside the bus and the bus driver to check their tickets and everything. It was long, but you can go to the bathroom if you have time. And check out the seats. They are reclinable. You have a place for you to store your beverage. You have a charger on it and a little thing for your legs so that they can rest. They also have a bathroom and a little fridge which wasn't working. And don't forget to have your PDI document. They would hand you this at the entry of the country and you would have to give it back as soon as you leave. After 3 hours and 35 minutes, we hit the Chilean border. Everyone had to disembark and head to the migration office. This process you have to make online. We present our documents. You also have to keep the PDI document that I was telling you about. And they get the bus checked. So while everyone is down, like migration officers go inside the bus and check that nothing is illegal there. It was actually a smooth process and by 3.57 p.m. we were actually on our way to Argentina, which was really nice. The landscapes were turning more beautiful each time and we thought it was gonna go swiftly. As we crossed the Andes mountain, the scenery was mind-blowing. I mean, look at all of the snow, especially with the fresh snow. It felt like we were in Switzerland, surrounded by nature, rivers, and different lakes. And by the way, did you know that the entire journey cost around $30 per person? That's what we paid, it was super good. And let me tell you a little bit of this journey as you are enjoying this ride. Uh, the total journey was 147 kilometers from Puerto Aras to Bariloche, and it was supposed to last roughly six hours. But we will shortly discover that all of this beautiful snow that we were seeing was going to be the culprit of this journey to not turning as we expected. And as we hit Argentina, a massive traffic jam. Two hours of waiting inside a freezing bus with a clock toilet. Patient tested, but we eventually got off of migration and it took ages. At the border, facilities were far from ideal. There were bathrooms, limited shops, only accepting Argentine in cash. It was a real challenge, making the delay even more frustrating. Okay, so we are now in the crossing of Argentina. After two hours of waiting inside of the bus, because the roads were supposed to close, we finally passed migration and we still cannot get in the bus to get like to our hotel because there are still people waiting to the migration. And we were supposed to arrive to Bariloche at 6.25 and it's currently 7 p.m. and we still haven't crossed the front. After a lot of time in that migration, besides being super late and super hungry, at least we were going inside the bus and we started to see the Nahuel Wapi Lake. And we knew that each time we were getting closer to a destination. Three hours later than expected, but finally arriving to Bariloche at 9.36 p.m. Ok, ya llegamos acá al terminal y está haciendo mucho, 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 mucho frío. Estamos esperando el Uber. Despite the hiccups, the journey was unforgettable. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more travel tales. Until next time, happy exploring!